Hello everyone, um, just Ryan Gutch here wanting to do a little a video tutorial basically on how to create actual digital worksheets. Um, this is one of the best ways I have found that you can actually uh, send it out to the kids and you can actually send a copy to each kid and they can fill it in without actually changing the worksheet at all. So here is the basic idea. What we're going to do is start a new Google Slides presentation. And once it loads up, we're going to change the slide itself. So page setup is where you want to go. And instead of this, you want to go to a custom one. I'll actually ask you how big you want it. We're going to do 8.5 by 11 because that is our standard sheet of paper. There it is. From here what we're going to do is make the bulk of our worksheet the background to the slide. Uh, some different ways you can do it. If you happen to have it in a picture file like a PNG or a G or a JPEG, JPG, um, you can put it right in. Um, I'm one that didn't have any of those. I have PDFs, I have Word documents, and things like that. You just have to figure out a way to make it a picture file. So what you could do is do something like I did. I did a PDF to PNG converter. There's plenty of them online. Upload the file and download what they give you. Um, if you want to be extra creative, a great place is Canva. When you go to create a design, one of the options is a worksheet, 8.5 by 11 inch worksheet. If you don't have Canva, you can jump in with your Google account. It's really, really easy to sign in with your Google account and get that started. Anyway, what I've done is I've made one of my PDFs a PNG file. So I'm going to go to background. I'm going to choose an image for my background. I'm one that just saved it to my computer, so I just got to go find it. And there it is. We hit done. I'm going to get rid of these two little boxes for a moment here. Get rid of my theme. So now I have this slide here. It's got a picture as the background. And I have, in this case, I have a bunch of notes here that they are supposed to have chords underneath, in my case. I'm going to make a text box under each one that they can put in whatever their answer is going to be. And I'm going to have some fun and I'm going to fill it with a color. So it's very obvious, hey, you need to fill something in here. And if you can even make it with borders and all that. So even more obvious. Well, then I'm just going to copy and paste a bunch of them and move them to where I want to. The nice thing about Google Slides is just what I was doing. You can line it right up. So it's nice and straight. If you're one of those kind of personalities, you need that uh, type A-ness or anal retentiveness. You need everything to look really perfect and nice. That is available to you. All right. You get the idea of that so far. We're going to bring it back out. So when they see the worksheet, they see all these little text boxes they have to fill in. Now, a nice thing is when you go to Google Classroom and put this in as an assignment, you send them the slides presentation. You make a copy for each student. They have their own copy of a worksheet that they can fill in with the text boxes. 
pretty neat thing. If you want to use Canva, you can actually use all their tools and uh, develop the worksheet that way. You just save it as a PNG or a JPEG, one of those picture files, and you can just plop the, that picture as the background to your slide and run from there. All right. If you have any other questions about what else you can do or anything, or uh, if I missed a step that you were confused about, let me know. But I think this can be a very valuable tool if we ever have to go completely virtual, or even if you want to just get used to putting all the worksheets out there virtually so kids can grab them whenever they need to. Good luck this year. Let me know if you have any questions.